Hello, I'm Ben Zhongtai, a Chair Professor of Chemistry at the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. It is our great honor to publish the perspective entitled Mechanochromic Luminescence of Aggregation Induced Emission Luminogens in the Journal of Physical Chemistry Letters. Few examples of MC luminescence had been reported before 2008, probably due to two reasons. First, there is no clear design strategy for their synthesis. Second, the emission of many conventional luminophores is totally or partially quenched upon aggregate formation due to the aggregation cost quenching or ACQ effect or traps or defects in the aggregates. The development of uh, MC luminogens has been a difficult task. We intend to provide reasonable design strategy for MC luminogens in this perspective. During our research, we found that some propanolite luminogens were Lie emissive in solution state, but they emitted intensely in aggregation state. We coined this phenomena aggregation induced emission or AIE. Materials with AIE characteristics have been utilized for the construction of uh, MC materials. We found that the crystals of many AIE genes exhibited high emission intensity and the bluer emission color than their amorphous counterparts. We call this effect crystallization enhanced emission or CEE. CEE active luminogens exhibit MC luminescence. Their amorphous films show intensified emission upon application of a mechanical force because the increased pressure helps restrict intramolecular motions of the aromatic rings. In addition to static pressure, crystals of uh, CIE active luminogens can be transformed to amorphous powders by shear force and exhibit weakened or redshifted emission. Diphenyl dibenzofluorine derivatives are good examples. The emissions of their crystals are weakened and redshifted upon grinding due to amorphization. Their emissions can be shifted on and off repeatedly by repeating the grinding and the filming or heating circles. It is of interest to develop MC luminogens with a turn on fluorescence because. It allows us to follow the MC process by naked eyes from the dark background. Some luminophores in crystals adopt planar conformation with strong intermolecular pipette static interactions and hence show very weak emission with low quantum yield. Some other luminogens behave oppositely. Their amorphous powders do not luminate but their crystals emit efficiently due to the restriction of intramolecular motions in the crystal state. With the synergistic effects of TICT and AIE attributes, the two luminogens shown here exhibit a very high contrast in emission color. Through introducing weak interactions such as CH pi and CHO interaction to tetraphenylethylene, the luminescent can form crystals with deep blue or sky blue emission, while its amorphous solid emits green light. Thus, the emission of this luminescent can be switched among three different colors, that is, green, deep blue, and sky blue, by mechanical and thermal stimuli. So AI genes are promising candidate materials for MC 
luminescence. The development of a sensitive MC luminescent sensors for quantifying stress and for biological applications are future directions in the area of research on MC luminescence. In this perspective, we have discussed MC luminescence of AI genes, reviewed the relationship between molecular structure and MC luminescence, highlighted our recent work on high performance MC AI genes, and pointed out the possible future research direction in this field. This work will attract research effort to establish design strategy for high performance MC luminogenes and promote the development in the area of AIE study. JPC is an important platform for us to publish our research work. Our publications in JPC journals have drawn much attention and have been highly cited, partly due to the high impact of uh, JPC journals. JPC Letters is an influencing journal with rapidly increasing impact because it's published high quality papers have attracted a wide spectrum of readership. Thank you for watching. If you want to know more details, you are referred to the website address shown here.